Hello everyone, welcome to solve this math Olympiad geometry problem and here we have a nice right triangle in which the length of its sides are 4 to the power of m, 8 to the power of m and 2 to the power of m respectively and here we just find uh, the simplified values of all the uh, length of the sides of this triangle <clears throat> because you see here we have the unknown variable m is involved all these three sides of the triangle so here first we find the value of m and then we find the length of all these three uh, sides of this right triangle. So here uh, the very first step we are going to do is here first you see here this is our right triangle and here we suppose that this is the any other angle. Uh, so now here we use the nice Pythagoras theorem. So you know that the side opposite to the right angle is known as the hypotenuse and the side opposite to the other angle is known as the perpendicular or altitude and the third side which joins the 90 angle and the other angle is known as the base. So here we use the uh, nice Pythagoras theorem. So according to the Pythagoras theorem uh, it is stated as hypotenuse square equals to base square plus perpendicular square. So this is the our hypotenuse uh, or Pythagoras theorem and now we substitute all the values of uh, A, B, C, A here and it will be written as so here you see that we have our hypotenuse is 8 to the power of m and we can substitute it here so it will becomes 8 to the power of m and its whole square equals to base and our base is 4 to the power of m and its whole square and our perpendicular is 2 to the power of m and its whole square. So now uh, here first we simplify the terms and here we use the nice exponent, nice uh, exponential law. So here we move these whole powers in, inside the exponent and it will be written as 8 square and its whole power m equals to here we have 4 square and its whole power m plus 2 square and its whole power m. So here we just interchange all these exponents and we write in this form. So here we know that uh, the square of 8 uh, is equals to 64 and it is 64 to the power of m equals to the square of uh, 4 uh, is equals to uh, we just write this as 16 to the power of m and this will becomes 4 to the power of m. And after that uh, here we can just uh, simplify uh, we just rewrite all these three terms as uh, so we write here uh, this 64 as 4 cubed and its whole power m and we write this as 4 square and its whole power m and this is our 4 to the power of m. So here we have uh, this is 4 to the power of m and its whole cubed and this is 4 to the power of m and its whole square and this is 4 to the power of m. And now here we take little bit substitution and we get we take here y equals to 4 to the power of m so when we take y equals to 4 to the power of m so that our above equation will be written as y cubed equals to y squared plus y so this equation will becomes uh, in a cubic form so here we move uh, these two values in the left hand side and it will be written as y cubed minus y square minus y equals to 0. So here you focus on both of these terms and you see here uh, we have uh, y with a common term. So we write here y times of y square minus y minus 1 equals to 0. And now in the next step we convert this uh, question into cases and our first case is we take y equals to 0 and the second case is we take y square minus y minus 1 equals to 0. So uh, here we have uh, here uh, we just uh, find the other values of y from this quadratic equation. So, uh, but here we first finalize this case and we have y equals to 0 and we know that the value of y is 4 to the power of m. We substitute it here and it will becomes 4 to the power of m equals to 0. And, and you know that this 4 to the power of m is the base of this right triangle. So, we know that uh, the, any length uh, of uh, the right triangle cannot be 0. So, it is 0. So, it cannot be possible. 
and we will just rejected this case and we can just proceed here this case only and in this case here you see that this is the quadratic equation and we can use the quadratic formula so that first we write the coefficients of this equation and its coefficients are a equals to 1 b equals to minus 1 and c equals to minus 1 and we know that about the quadratic formula it will be written as y equals to minus b plus minus square root of b square minus 4 times of ac divided by 2 times of a so this is the our nice quadratic formula and now we substitute all these three values here and uh, we will get its output in this form we have y equals to minus b and the value of b is minus 1 plus minus square root of b square and b is minus 1 square minus 4 times of a is 1 and c is minus 1 and this is divided by 2 times of a and our a is also 1 so here we need a more simplification and we have 1 plus minus square root of minus 1 square becomes plus 1 and this is minus times of minus becomes plus 4 divided by 2 so uh, here we uh, again write this into the simplified form and it will be written as 1 plus minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So here we have uh, two values of y uh, so that we convert this into cases. So here we have the first case is we write the positive value it is 1 plus uh, square root of 5 divided by 2 and here we write the negative value it is 1 minus square root of 5 divided by 2. So, uh, if you uh, simplify uh, this side, so now for here, first we put the uh, value of y. We know that the value of y is 4 to the power of m. It is 4 to the power of m equals to 1 plus k root of 5 divided by 2. And in this case, 4 to the power of m equals to 1 minus k root of 5 divided by 2. So, uh, now here first we focus on this case and here you see that this is the uh, if you simplify this term it will gives us the negative value so uh, if this gives us the negative value and we know that our 4 to the power of m is the base of the right triangle so if, so if base is negative it cannot be possible any side length of the triangle is negative so that it cannot be possible our base is some negative value so that we just rejected this case and we can just proceed here this case only and in order to solve this case here first we need to uh, simplify this term and when we simplify this term it will be written as 4 to the power of m equals to 1.618 so uh, now in order to find the value of m here we need to take the log on both of the sides uh, in order to find the value of m so here we take the log and it will be written as log of 4 to the power of m equals to log of 1.618 so here we move the exponent for, uh, m to the front of this log and it will be written as m times of log 4 is equals to log of 1.618 and we know that the value of log of 1.618 is 0.2089 and we know that the value of log 4 is 0 0.602 equals to 0 0.2089 and now we move this value to the right hand side and it will becomes m equals to 0 0.2089 divided by 0 0.602 so here when we divide these two values then finally we get the value of m is equals to 0 0.347 so here first we find the value of m and now we move towards to find the length of all the sides of the given triangle so this is the our uh, given triangle and uh, now uh, we have the value of m is 0 0.347 so this is the value of m and now we put this value of m here and we easily get the value of this side length so if you put this value here 2 to the power of 3.0.347 so uh, it, this will be equals to uh, 1.271 and we have 
फोर टू दी पावर ऑफ एम इक्वल्स टू फोर टू दी पावर ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फोर सेवन एंड इट इज इक्वल्स टू इट विल बिकम्स वन पॉइंट सिक्स वन एट एंड आफ्टर दैट वी हैव एट टू दी पावर ऑफ एम एंड द वैल्यू ऑफ एट टू दी पावर ऑफ एम इक्वल्स टू एट टू दी पावर ऑफ जीरो पॉइंट थ्री फोर सेवन and it will be equals to 2.057 so these are the side lengths of the given triangle and this is the final answer and thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos